go straight to Facebook and count it up. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll do the intro. And what's up, everybody? Hey, welcome to the Paprika Show. This is uh, the the third test that we've had on our new gear. We have multiple cameras and are very excited about uh, the technology and how everything works. Although we don't really know how it works, so we're it's a work in progress. Thank you for helping us crawl out of the primordial ooze into the true world of being a million in podcast store. And as Z. Whatever, we're here, and we're in Satanic Studios, and I'm here with my uh, my hetero life mate, Gothens. What's up? You're, it's on you now? Yeah, I know. I was just playing with my <coughs> with tiny your... dragon dick. How do you know the dra- the dra- that's what a dragon's dick looks like? Uh, okay, bad dragon dick. Because the name of the company is Bad Dragon. It, it gives us flow, so... Uh, that's what I was saying too. I was like, "How? Who? Someone had to sit there and conceptualize what a dragon's dick would look like, and this is what they came up with. Uh, and this is a miniature version. It's kind of like when you order the, uh, you don't look at the dimensions on Amazon, and then you get something, you know, way too small. So we ended up with this gymnastics. That's not what happened. This was just a little sample packet, like along with these. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. Do you know? I think whoever designed that wanted to fuck a dragon. Teeny tiny little, uh... That's wishful thinking, is what that is. It'd uh, give you one-tenth of an orgasm if you put it on your face, probably. So, before our shit dies, because we've had all kinds of technical issues, yeah. we're going to go ahead and introduce our video and our guest, uh, Claire Holly. And uh, here's a little sample of what she does. Started on my jealousy when like the Me Too movement started. <laughs> I was like, are we getting catcalled this much? <laughs> Who? <laughs> and if I saw like, y'all aren't gonna like this one. When I saw like an ugly girl get, be like, Me Too. I'm like, what does she have that I don't? <laughs> what does she have that I don't? A lying bone in her body. I'm very, no, believe women, believe women, just not ugly women, that's what I have to say. I, I, um, I'm a feminist, um, and I have, I have a pussy the whole nine, and, started, we started, and kaboom, we started on my jealousy when, like, the Me Too movement started. Stop it, Claire, enough. Narcissist, welcome to our show. Welcome to Satanish Studios. Thank you for driving all the way out here from Chicago. You got on a you rode a horse all the way here from Chicago, and yeah. that's not easy to do. And that's you. Uh, okay, so I know you from the open mic scene here in Vegas. From like, how long have you been out? Twenty eighteen is when I started. So when did you move to Chicago? You just moved there. I moved there in <clears> September. <throat> Okay, so you haven't been yeah. in Chicago that long. No, no. So you are, you've you been out there since September, so uh, if my math is correct, that's uh, 29 months. Yeah, is right. Is that right? About, I, what is it? I know how Give long or take. You, what is that, like six months? I don't know. It's like seven, six, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you went to Chicago, and uh, I, I don't think I'd seen you do stand-up in Vegas for a while, but then you came to Chicago, and the first time I saw you was at Ian's uh, Star Lounge on Sunday and, and you were really funny and it was great to see you back so it's uh, and I'm glad Gothens here was able to get you in the studio as our first like crash test dummy for our I'm, I do mean crash test dummy because our shit has been crashing all day because it, it's wireless you know because it's wireless we have no wires how could you physically see what's wrong when it's all wireless do you think it's crashing because we have too many wires or not enough we'll answer that question later I guess uh, tell us about Chicago and tell us about comedy Ah, uh, Chicago is Chicago. It's the first thing everyone thinks of. They go, they go, isn't it cold? I'm like, yeah, it's super fucking cold. Yeah. Am I allowed to swear on this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he just showed a little, We're trying yeah. to figure that out, too. Oh, okay. Um, it's just, it is super fucking cold. And it, the thing about it is you'll try and kill yourself just because it's cold. No other problem. Yeah. It's just cold out. And there's no sun. And you're like, 
This isn't worth it. <laughs> the coldest I've ever been in America has been in Chicago. I yes. went to visit mm-hmm. somebody in Chicago in, Same here. in December. Is like right. This whole cold that's not even the worst. The I know. That's not even the worst time. I know, but it was it was like a murderous. It was like a violent cold. I don't know. It I hurts. can only only use those types of words to describe the cold in Chicago. Mm. Why is Chicago so brutally, abusively cold? Because it's on on the lake and it's up north. It's a great lake, so there's a lot of wind coming in. Oh, okay, so it's extra windy. It the windy city. So that's what. Say. That's the windy city. That's the windy city. I heard it had nothing to do with the wind. It is actually politics, yeah. Is it politics? That's what makes it cold. So is it both, or which one is or isn't it? Is all the cold blooded lizard people? Originally, it is. It is the politicians, allegedly, but it is also very windy. So it's a little bit of both. Yeah. I wonder how cold it is really without the wind chill, right? Doesn't wind chill make it like the camera adds like five degrees of wind chill? Yeah. Something like that situation. There's sources you can trust for information. There's Wikipedia and then there's Paprika. So if we actually just clar- clarified. I clarified it a little bit. That, uh, what, the, what the Windy City is about. So uh, let's talk about your clip. Let's talk about what um, what you said there. You were talking about the Me Too movement and how why don't you, why don't you break down that premise and maybe we can we can go into it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just a woman hater, you know? <laughs> me too, right? Yeah, me too. You go, girl. No, the premise is just um, the build-up to that clip. Because you saw the full... I don't know if I said that bit at Star Lounge. I'm not sure what I said there. But um, the build-up to that is that I'm a jealous person. And so I was talking about jealousy. Um, and then I was... It was just like an idea of... It was an idea. It was like... You know when you see like an ugly girl post about being like raped, you're like, you just kind of want that attention. Just, I'm, just kidding, but it's I'm, a joke, but that's the premise of it. Yeah, I'm hesitant to agree with you too hard on this, but it is, <laughs> it, I follow a bunch of sites, like I follow these, these. they're, I'm, they're probably run by like, like troll farms uh-huh. AI whatever but it's, it's designed to trigger you and get you fighting and it'll be like yes this is the perfect response yeah. to this right wing journalist and that's what they get for being a white male yeah, well, and, and then you see all these comments and the comments are like exactly that's exactly And but then I look at the profiles and I'm like nobody likes any of you I can see yeah. it yeah no the <clears throat> Kind of what I like to do, I'm not political, I don't care, it's just a silly joke that I did. Obviously, like, I've been sexually assaulted and stuff, I don't really care, it's just a silly joke I do. People did get mad about it online a lot, like, on TikTok, I had to take it down, I was like, whatever, because I just didn't feel like dealing with that. You I was know, like, that's, that's not it. So I did right. get, like, a little bit of heat for that clip, but um, my idea is not the politics of it, I'm not a political person, I don't care, but it's more so I want to get... I want to say something that the audience might not agree with, but I want to turn it to make it funny and make them be on my side. Right. So I kind of want that shift. Yeah. So it's not exactly that, like, that's what I believe or whatever, but I just want the style of turning and then you're on my side. And you're like, oh. Yeah. Well, if you can make something controversial, funny, it makes people lighten up so much. Right. I find that when it, face to face, most people always get along. I feel like this is just... I, I'm kind of. I feel it, gross even saying it because it's so redundant, so obvious that people you would say it to their face, and people just talk shit yeah. online. And yeah, it's it's true. And I, honestly, I think a lot of the people that are agreeing with these things that annoy me are just um, they're bored. Yeah. You know, they're like my parents. I've they're like, had, oh yeah, that's a cool headline. Yeah, I've never had someone come up to me in person <clears> after doing <throat> a joke like that. Yeah, yeah. I've never had someone. I've had. I've told it. I've gotten. Sometimes I won't get as many laughs as I want, but it'll still get a chuckle. I've never had anyone come up to me in person and be like, you shouldn't say that. I've only right. had people online be like, I don't know about that. And I'm like, well, it's working in person, and I do this in person. Yeah. So I don't know what to tell you. Right. I've had it in person, but, yeah. that, <laughs> but that was in Seattle, and, oh. which is a whole different place out mm-hmm. there. And, and this was even back in probably 2015, 2016. Yeah, That's when it was just like getting that. started. So, yeah, I had someone tell me I couldn't say, uh, what was it? I had some uh, prostitute jokes. She was like, you shouldn't make sex worker jokes. Right. Uh, she was like, I'm a lesbian and a feminist. 
I was like, well, that's just redundant. <laughs> Is but, she a, um, was she a sex worker too? And a sex worker. She was a stripper. So I was like, yeah, it she was, doesn't, doesn't matter. She, she said, just, I shouldn't make sex worker jokes. I was like, well, I don't, because uh, it was a, it was like a dead hooker joke or something. It was hacky. I, I fully admit dead hooker jokes are hacky, but I told one. Yeah. Um, that's why you tell them. Yeah, to find out something tacky. But regardless, she said, don't. Uh, I was like, I don't really do that. Um, I also don't really suck dick for drugs in public restrooms. And mm -hmm. then she said that I shouldn't say that either, that I suck dick for drugs in public restrooms because it's uh, offensive to people that actually have to do that. Well, how does she know that you don't do that? Well, just because I just told her I didn't. Oh, okay. So you lied. <laughs> 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 Oh, I've done some dirty, dirty, <laughs> dirty things. Believe me. Yeah, I, I, that would not be the embarrassing one <laughs> if I had to go down the list. Yeah, the shameful <laughs> one. What's what's in your what's in your uh, bottom? What's in the the? I don't know. You're in your top ten. Oh, you're trying to go there. I don't know. Give me one thing, and just give me one thing in your top ten since sucking day for drugs isn't <laughs> in it. Uh, just for conversation, just one. You don't have to. I'm not trying to audit you. I don't know. I'd have to think about a good one that I would know how to tell properly. All right. Uh, Claire, same question. What's the something I don't think about? <laughs> something I don't think about a lot. There's one of those things you try not to think about. So it's like maybe uh, you know, you try not to think about it, and then someone asks you about it. It's like how well, how would I explain that? Yeah. No, it's yeah. a hard. It's a hard thing to. Like, I I, I'm, I'm already trying not to think about it. It's like something your therapist would ask you. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I blocked that out. Yeah. How am I supposed to know how to tell you this? You're making me feel stupid. It's like, let me figure out a way to tell this to make me look like a good person. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Claire, what would you say is, how is the Vegas comedy scene, how has it changed since the pandemic, if we want to call it that? Like, the, uh, the okay. last two years, years a lot of stuff is shuffled around and you've left and checked out another big city and mm -hmm. then come back to visit and you've been real active since you've been here so what did, what have you noticed uh, uh i just love the vegas comedy scene. i can live in chicago all i want i'll always be a vegas comic um but i you start out here i started here i started here for five years and then i moved to chicago and the major different i think it's the exact same since before the pandemic there might have been a little bit weird after but i think we're back to square one not square one but there's a my perspective people coming out yeah my perspective so far before and after since i kind of fell off before the pandemic hit uh and then came back a while after everyone started going out right um the one difference i notice is everyone is a lot better a lot better than it used to be. I don't know. Um, no, I think it's... It feels like more of a hopeful comedy scene. It, yeah. it used to feel more like, uh, I don't want to be part of this, and now it feels like kind of like a, a better yeah. vibe to it, I guess. It's definitely taking some steps in a good direction, I think. Yeah, I, it's definitely gotten better. I won't say anything... I haven't been back in town long enough to comment on like any talent or growth or anything like that because I haven't really seen that many people. I'm not right. going to lie. I haven't paid attention a lot other than when I go up. I've been like seeing my friends who did you but, hang um, with when you were when you were here when i was here well when i first started um some of my my best friend was hugo ramos who's since moved to la he was I there think, a couple years ago i remember hugo yeah, yeah i would hang out with hugo ramos all the time i'm still friends with him but we're just on different sides of the country now um yeah he was sick i'm really close with garrett hall i'm close with ty rivera chris shaw um, only the headliners. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Butch Bradley, Spiro. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, they are my friends. But the one thing I've noticed there's a lot more new people. Well, being around good comics makes you better. That's true. But the one like, thing don't, don't ever have, yeah you should never have to apologize for the oh I was the ones you're around. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it feels weird to say who you're around. Yeah. And who you spend your time with. Like sounds, sounds like a brag. <laughs> right, but I mean, that's, that's the only way to go up. Just to yeah. spend time with people who yeah, but it works across everything, even that's, skateboarding. That's, that's I'm that's sorry true. I'm interrupting you. No, you're good. No, Try it's not. probably just there's a lot more new people here. Yeah. I feel like I went to Mike the first night I got here Saturday. I didn't recognize, like, anyone. It's the like, same with me. I don't... 
Yeah, I mean, I've been going longer than you. Yeah. Because you said you hadn't seen me in many years mm -mm. When, you, when you walked into a... I thought you died for a second. I did. Yeah. Technically, <laughs> I technically, that's, what, that's why Crychex's my dead name. That's what I call it. <laughs> you transitioned? That's why I use all his jokes, because that day has gone. Yeah. Yeah, now he's stolen. He's he's robbing. He's grave robbing Crychex jokes. Yeah, it's too bad that guy's. It's too bad that guy's gone too. Everyone's because... like, get back on stage. Just tell all your old jokes. I'm like, I don't want to do those jokes anymore. So he's been grave robbing them. Oh my god. And now I'm thinking about digging them back up and you know, figure out how to put the bones back together. I don't. I don't know. But he's still using them. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my jokes now. Uh, we should write a joke. You guys want to write a joke? We can write it. Yeah, sure. You want to do right uh, now? Yeah. <clears throat> I had a couple. I I made some funny jokes in Sprouts. I don't mind talking about. I've never used this. Uh, really, I tried it. I wrote a couple things. I got the idea from Ralph Tutella. He ordered one, so I ordered oh, one too. It is a pretty cool cool uh, It's got a know, section for brainstorming. That is not how my brain works. I can't use those. Yeah. So let me show that. Me show I remember it. I I used uh, a couple of uh, those things uh, we figured out. Yeah, there we go. Three. Yeah, you're on two. There it is. Yeah. So we got something for uh, now. I got to read it backwards. <laughs> Brainstorming idea one, funny connections idea two. So we just come up with a joke. So whatever you think of, I'll write some shit down. That's a great book. Just keep talking and, and, and think of a joke idea. Just I I look I by the end we can set up over here. I got and a joke you right now. Your joke. I got a joke right now. Like live audience stuff too. I might talk about this. Gets to have a joke. I, I look. I have. I'll have a joke. Um, a joke or two. Look, we were in the, we were in the line at Sprouts, and and this guy. Oh, this whole big conversation about cats started. We I had got, everybody in two lines. I was talking. doing crowd work Jesus. with the entire store. It went really well. That's how it was. I, I think he okay. Is this what you think happens on stage too? That's what when I think. Tell me everything went well. That's what I know. Are you comparing it to this? I'm because cool. I don't think it went well for you. My yeah, favorite thing it, is when you definitely had everyone's attention because you were talking to a bunch of cat lovers. Yeah, I was getting talking heckled. about how you were just like you should be bigger cats to eat cats, and we're like, I was like, David, let me, let you me don't know what you're doing. Calm down, me and, and these let me women. do my own premise. Let me say, you all right, look. Women? <laughs> look, how could you do I'm that saying, to women? Look, we're gonna. We're, I want to find people who have to do sex acts for drugs and feed them to cats. No, what do what other thing? Okay. We're in the line at Sprouts, and don't talk uh, bad about cats to all women. Gotham said, <laughs> "Believe all cats. And believe, believe all, all cats. cats. <laughs> they love us. They're furry. That's why they cuddle. It's not." Because they're waiting for us to hold still long enough to eat us. Like this I said is, earlier, I'd be honored to be look, eaten by my cat. I know, and that's stupid. And then I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> cats, you're stupid. Cats, well, can, cats, wait. Can we be? How would he know? Because the look. He thinks they start before you die. They don't start before you die. How would do, that do? I'll. I'll you wouldn't were, push I, it I, off I, of you. You I, wouldn't push it off of you. If they were capable, well, they would. Look, you get up. Look, most cats we can fight now. But here's okay. the deal. There is a period of time when there are way more cats than there were people, and people were uh, way smaller than cats. And okay. there's still cats out there that are way bigger than people. And oh my, right? And the fact of the matter is that cats were domesticated under protest versus dogs that were domesticated because they're like, this seems like a great idea, I'm down with this. You wanna make me a Pomeranian? Let's do it, son, right? I want that bone. But if you're a cat, they're like, I'm gonna fucking eat you. And I can't wait to see, I'm gonna watch the, watch the light go out of your eyes as I take my last few bites because I'm a cat and that's what I do. I kill and eat stuff and you're just too little right now, but all we were is a big naked mouse to them most of the time. And so what you were saying, anyway, I don't, to be clear, disclaimer, I don't hate cats, but I am allergic to them. So my nose oh, hates yeah, cats whatever. and my eyes hate cats and my DNA respects the fact that they were higher on the food chain. And let's face it, if we didn't have buildings and stuff, we wouldn't be able to survive a cat fight. We couldn't. We need, we'd have to, if we can't run into a building, how do you beat the tiger? You can't do it. You need a spear. You need a gun. You need, okay, whatever. 
I was in the line. Paprika. paprika. Okay. You know what? That is how yeah, it I'm works. Gonna, I'm going to paprika your exp explanation. Well, let me at least tell the it's story. It's on her now. You so I got me. this uh, over to her. So I was waiting to switch that. I guess I need to give you a signal that I did something like that. Or you I'm, just look at the fucking let, screen. Let me just say the thing Teamwork. I said. Let me just say the thing. All right. He comments that they just took on a second cat from someone who doesn't want it cat. anymore. A third cat. Not, not that have, someone didn't want it anymore. They live, out, they, they live outside of town. And uh, someone else was watching him here, but he became homeless and has been living in his vehicle. So this delay. Go on. And um, I think it's only like nine seconds. We'll see. Well, no, the delay. They couldn't take care of this cat in his vehicle anymore, so I had to take this cat on 30 minutes notice until it can get a ride to Colorado. I should be on the mic either way. My point is that people keep. Uh, my point is that people keep giving you cats that they don't want, and you were like, "Oh, we got an opportunity yeah, to take to on two, two more, more cats." And I said, at this point, you have so much biomass of cats. Wouldn't it just be make more sense yeah. to just get a larger animal that you could just feed these cats to that animal when they give them to you instead of you I having another, a house that is yeah. overrun by these felines? Because if you give get enough cats, they'll form form together like Voltron, and then they eat you because they work in they you know they're pack hunters like lions. I'm just realizing. Have you never seen a cat tron? Super bean, then you need nothing. Cool, it gets that. No, Are we, your, just your camera to get that in there, too. Did you <laughs> do we need to film? So, what I like, uh, put it on your camera. Um, this is me. Oh, oh, there we are. That way, I can do my shit over here. We can still talk. By the way, Claire, the whole reason that we ended, we decided that we, we ended up building this is because we decided we need multiple cameras not to make it look perfect because the best podcast is when the guy talking to the camera person has a camera person has a camera have a three shot two shot whatever and it's like a tv studio professional looking okay. that's what you think would be our motivation that's not why we did it at all the main reason is we're trying to do a regular old hoopty uh camera thing we're like we need multiple cameras because at some point he's going to get up and do that and there's nothing i can do about it no matter how we format the show and then we found this technology, which is which is is um to, as you can see, it's completely wireless. Yeah. And uh, uh, what that means is he can we'll do this in a second. You and me can talk, and you can take this camera, and you can go be weird in the other room if you want. Yeah, that's true. I might need to go be weird in the other room by myself. I'm getting a little. Are you? Extra arrhythmia, so. Did you have a more uh, nootropics? That new Take mood. your phone if you're going to do it so we know what's going on in there. All right. And what's cool about this is that... I took that new mood stuff, and it always makes me... He just totally leaves the studio. Like fucking weird. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys can follow me around the... Uh, yeah, the there we go. <laughs> there we go. The range too. So now we still have a podcast going, and this guy's doing selfies in the other part of the house. And we, he's like, but we're gonna make sure we're not talking at the same time. Here's uh, Sam. Here's uh, Sam. Shut up, cat. God. All right, now what don't you do is find a larger cat and feed that cat up, to the David. larger cat. Paprika. In the paprika, you shit talk on cats. I do like. Was there comments? Yeah, I guess if you were on the um, if you're on the Facebook that you can do on your phone. It's on your account. But I, it's not it's not actually public right now. So. Oh okay. Yeah, but what we can do is we'll we'll make it. Uh, so we haven't gotten like live. Con and did you tell people you're going to be no. on this? Yeah. Okay. That's that's fine. I don't tell anyone anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people to know where I am, which is like a super flaw for me. You know, because as a comic, it should be like, oh, here I am. When people are like, where are you going to be? I'm like, just look at my Instagram. Right. Shut up. I don't I mean, understand. You don't have to DM me. Check my story. I recently met somebody who's like an influencer. Like they have like thousands and thousands I of followers and that's like their life. They're like, their phone is like, they're a cyborg. Their, their phone is attached yeah. to their hand. And I, I just, I, I cannot imagine. Cause you see these people, they have all this energy online and stuff. And I think about my posts, I'm like, oh, uh, No, I well. hate it. I hate, I go through phases with posting. I'm always on Twitter. I don't give a fuck. I'm always on Twitter. But um, 
on Instagram and stuff, I hate having like message requests from like people I don't know, and it's always yeah. some bullshit that like the answer is just wait for me to post. Right. Like when are you gonna be back in Chicago? Wait for me to fucking post. How about that? Do you get do a lot of like? Do you are you consistent with that posting your uh? I your post dates? where I'm. I post my dates. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, consistent with that. Uh, everything else. That's basically the only thing I need to post as far as I'm concerned. But uh. <laughs> I was always way too lazy with that. So, promoting yeah. myself. I do it on Instagram, and I'll do it maybe on Facebook. I get too self-conscious. Like, no one gives a shit that I have a show. Why would I yeah. post this? Through? Like, why is he posting he has a show? No one cares. That's fair. And I would just not bother. Or that's I don't the know. power of negative thinking. That's, a, that's my character flaw, is I just like to mind my own business, and I don't like people to be in my business. But I should, because I am a comic, and I want people to come to my shows. <laughs> but I'm just like... Ah. Live in Claire's business. Yeah. Are, I'm on the business. Paprika show. Are you going to tie in A.D. Rivera's unrelated uh, show no, at Ocho? their show starts like pretty late. My flight's at like 11 p.m. Oh, you're right. That is a late show. Mm -hmm. um, also, oh, oh, Antonio Hernandez has a show at the... Who's that? Um, Antonio is a new guy who showed up. There's a bunch of, like you were saying, a lot of new guys, sure. a lot of new guys showed up after the pandemic and it like reshuffled a lot of people moved in and what I've noticed too is I feel like the new crop of comedians that came to Vegas on average is a lot better than my crop of comedians from four years ago and you've been doing going it for like a year I guess before I started and then I mm -hmm. kind of bumbled around and tried a bunch of stuff and then um and now I feel like I'm like halfway functional. I'm still figuring out the crowd work thing or whatever. But the point is, the new guys, Antonio is one of them, okay. and uh, he's already hosting a show. It's down at this, uh, this I guess what it called a Latin casino. It's one of those like way north. It's like uh, I want to say it's like Craig. It's not maybe it's, it's between Craig and Cheyenne, or whatever that one is. But it's way down on the 15, way uh -huh. up on the 15. But it's it's pretty good. Like it's a positive crowd. People are like. You know, it, I've had okay sets there. Like, I would think I'd have a better set at Ocha because it's all my friends. But right. the last time... That's not I, what you need, though. You need people I haven't seen yet. Well, I'm in luck because I bombed last time I was at Ocha. It went terribly. <laughs> and it went pretty good at the... Uh, at the, the the big. It's a big stage that Antonio's got. And it's at... Uh, what is it called? I wish I remembered what it's called now. Um, here's, uh, here's Claire's stuff, though. Look at this. We can... Boom. Boom. Um, before, we, just in case we crash, there. Uh, yeah, go to the two or yeah. Would that there be go. weird to hey, show it right beside her real head? Well, we show her. No, I think that's other past real head. I don't want to call it. I think that's appropriate. A technical term. For that it. looks good. All so what we'll do next time, I guess we'll have Spiritual we have a guest term. or we get our extra phone and then we just get the phones like that and then we can switch, boom, 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 and then everyone's got a camera. Yeah, eventually I mean, we're gonna have more. Four extra devices. But overall, I'm very pleased with this setup. I think that it's good. So follow um, follow Claire at um, IG uh, Hugh Heifer, which is uh, hilarious, and Twitter S M D W M D. I've been wondering about that acronym. What is that? That is just simply uh, suck my dick, weapon of mass destruction. That's all that is. Okay. Well, that's, that's just simply. Just simply two acronyms. Well, we all could have guessed that. Come that's on, what guys. It meant. It's just two acronyms. So it's not just. A <laughs> How hard is it for y'all to understand? <laughs> Again, my character flaw. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry about what my Twitter name is. All right. <laughs> I yeah, I was looking for some groups recently and. Uh, they con uh, asked someone on on uh, Facebook, and uh, they were like, "You got to go to uh, for all the satanic groups in Las Vegas or any kind of meetups. They are uh, it would be this. You got to go to Twitter." And I was like, "Honestly, I'd rather go back to church than to Twitter." Yeah, oh, I love Twitter. I, I, I you used can to say love, you love it. Church. Uh, look, <laughs> okay. I have a Twitter tattoo. Okay, <laughs> I was there at the beginning. That's where I learned the right jokes. Twitter used to be a completely different place. I've been on it since 2009. When I started. It tells you. July 2009. Veteran. I wonder, I wonder if there's a oh, delay. Yeah, I, I think I didn't get on until 2011. But <laughs> There's something going on with our... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 this camera the kind of gets janky. The thing that we... Switched. I think I need to close it out and then reopen it. Well, no, we fixed it last time where we would switch it. Like, when I think I, by closing Well, when I go on mine, it goes right away. That's good. When I go on yours, okay, now it's, it's, still it's, on, off. it's still on Claire. Oh, is your thing off? Oh, well, I just turned it off. <clears throat> Our right. three shots good. Let's, let's just go back to 
that I, we need okay, to put cool. I use my phone this now. thing over here so that when we do the three shot, I'm also looking at the uh, the people because well, right friends. now I'm I just turned around like some kind of weird muppet. It's so frustrating when all your work is in your phone, and then you got to use your phone for work, and it's like I can't do that. I don't know the notes in there. We're gonna need to get extra phones. That's one of the things extra we need to phones. get. Yeah. 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 Because four that, extra phones. But which are really just cameras. They're just gonna be really expensive cam cameras at this point. We just need. It's got to be basically a cell phone that. It's kind of a brilliant way to do it, though. It, it really just to link up phones wirelessly, well, and they all have their own mics. So wherever they are. Yeah. Because you're not. got a mic. These got mics. Two extra. Because you're not supposed to be on your phone during a podcast anyway, right? So you might as well use right. it for the camera. <clears throat> and well, that way we can have as many as five, right I right now, I'm going to use a lot. I don't know. Are you guys sometimes, on... sometimes I'm going to make it to Are where you... I'm going to make it to where I can uh, just whatever we need. I'm like, where was that video? Because I already know where it is on my phone. So we're not searching through another through the computer or some shit. I could just... We need to figure out how to do that. Make it go from the phone directly to there. Yeah, yeah. Like so, this screen capture of whatever I'm doing. You mean this, is, this is not what we should be talking about? I can tell you that much. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is what we do when we don't have a guest. We're getting too meta on meta. Claire, Claire, tell us more about you. Tell us more about meta. What, what, what do you get? Right? What is meta? <laughs> tell aren't us you, your meta business. Aren't you paying attention earlier? Yeah, come on. I want to talk. I'll just chill. <laughs> She's a dick sucking <laughs> weapon of mass destruction, man. Yeah. Dick sucking weapon of mass She'll let you know. Claire sends the dick pics. Okay, in let's dig into that. <laughs> like you destroy your dick sucking destroyer. Uh, or the, the dicks are massive, you know, usually. Do you destroy really no, dicks? There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. They just I, both have. MD at the end. More like this size? Or yeah. Or more like this size? Well, it's suck my dick, so I don't do anything. It's, it's my dick. So probably the smaller one, right? Yeah, the smaller okay. one. I'm, okay. gonna, I'm transitioned. Yeah. But... It takes time. It, take, it takes a little bit of time. I'm a grower, not a shower. But, um... <laughs> This thing is like great it takes for several you know, years. kettlebell swings people do. I was this just thing, thinking... It's like nice well, and flexible. Well, what what they've got now, I I know that um, the Audit Academy is producing these uh, the fitness like maces, which was just like a basically a kettlebell at the end uh -huh. of a stick, and you do Jesus like Christ. Viking shit with it. Yeah, it's really uh, I, exactly what I you're look doing. At, I look at a lot of fitness equipment, and then I look around my house. I do the this thing called Fitness MacGyver or Fitness MacGuther. MacGruber. Fitness MacGruber. <laughs> Let's see if we can get your camera going again, though. And uh, what I do with that is I see the other people working out on certain things. And I'm like, I wonder what I already have around me right now that I can make some, something similar out of. I mean, I started le learning to use the weapons that way the weird ninja weapons because the owner of the house uh who we rent from he was like i got all these ninja swords and shit i don't know what i'm, I'm just gonna toss them I was like no i'll take them and it's like what the fuck am i ever gonna do with them so i started learning to use weird weapons uh, you would be but, so lucky to be uh murdered with a sword if you broke into this house like that's the best thing that could happen you could be beaten to death by a horse cock yeah 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 you always just say you feel bad for if anyone ever broken broken here they're gonna be like hey, this that, no way is it's that It's the dude worst doing house to break shit. into. It really, it really is. You're I don't gonna care. Catch a, you're going to catch a crossbow to the shoulder, first of all. I don't. If you successfully murder every cat in this house, you, you still are going to. You're going to take some damage. You're going to have cat scratches, squid ink, and bruises from a dildo for sure. Even if you for win the fight. Sure. For sure. Look. It's the cats rule everything. I'm gonna give a shout out to Black Crap, by the way. Most of my, a lot of my clothing. We're figuring out. Uh, we're doing fake sponsors still. Yeah, it's like the rap song. It's, this is like 
The cats uh, rule everything around me. <laughs> what it says. Oh my god. <laughs> Dollar Ed's dollar meow Satan meow. Dollar dollar bill meow. No. Uh, you're not a cat. You're not really a real cat fan. You don't get to make cat puns. I never claim to be. Do I not am, appropriate. I am cat conscious. Our cat catcher. I. By the way, was it Thursday? Oh, if you, you would have been here tomorrow. So we're treating this like a job from now on. You gotta put on your headphones Monday. if you're gonna bang on that. Okay, and I, I will do that. I will put you I'm very in the echo chamber. I'll put you in the echo chamber, naughty potty, so fast, dude. With a twist of a dial, dude, you'll be you'll be sounding like Dick Dale in the fucking shitter. What the fuck was I saying? You're talking about cats you're and how they're going to. to uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that is. You're right. That is what I'm trying. Yeah, naughty potty. If you oh, enjoy yeah. that. That's not good at all. Yeah, that's all. I just turned gave him a whole lot of echo. This is. It sounds like the like we're talking from the fourth dimension. I wish I had some. Uh, I had some pork rinds last night that we and, and I just. Your own. I right. He has cats. I have pork rinds. Look, I don't judge, and he shouldn't either. All right. Gothens. Is it legal in Chicago? Yeah, it's legal in Chicago. Really? Recreational, same yeah. way. So you can just buy. I can just buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me and Penny got stopped 